What is up guys, BQ49 here and we are back on the desolation map. Before I start this video, I would like to apologize. I know I, sta I sound stuffy, I'm probably going to be sneezing through this whole thing. But the show must go on, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tough it out, okay? <laughs> Today I want to show you one of the six mansions. Uh, in the past we have seen the health mansion. We've seen the food mansion. Is that all we've seen? That may be all we've seen. Today, I want to show you the weapons mansion right down there. Uh, it looks beautiful. So let's go take a gander. Players starting the game will have the choice of picking from one of six mansions. If they come over here, they will get to choose the weapons mansion. Let's read about the weapons mansion over here. The weapon mansion. History. This family loved to kill. Animals. <laughs> the house is filled with trophies from hunting excursions. But they weren't ready to become the hunted. Ooh. So these guys love to kill. They love to shoot stuff. But the tables were turned. Armageddon turned all those tables and now they are the hunted and they didn't last two seconds. <laughs> the mini game is to find some ammo and take it to the shooting range to see how good of a marksman you are. Seems simple enough, right? Let's drop it. Yum, 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 yum. And we're in. Where's our chair leg? Let's get our chair leg. <laughs> we're in creative mode right now, but if you were in adventure mode playing the game, you would start the game with that chair leg. With knockback one. Not too shabby. So this is the weapons mansion. This mansion was built by Crimson Wing. He was a friend of mine long ago, and he was super into Minecraft and building uh, houses like these. He was more of a fantasy guy. <laughs> yeah, he did a great job. Let's just fly around it. Let's, let's get an exterior shot. Uh, Solid and I had to do a little trim work. Uh, the house was a little bit plain the way it was, so Solid and I came in and did most of the oak wood you see. Basically, Crimson's didn't have any of the oak wood, so we trimmed it up a little bit. Uh, he has a beautiful yard. Look at those fountains. The fountains are running. Remember that there's a backup generator supplying power to the six mansions. That's why there's glowstone. That's why there's redstone. That's why there's running water. These buildings have power. And for the moment, they're the only buildings in the world with power, but that will change very shortly. <laughs> a little gazebo. I like the gazebo. I think it'd look kind of cooler if it was... Let me just do a little tweaking. You guys know how much I love to tweak. Oh, my nose. It's running. <laughs> Power through. <laughs> it's kind of gross. As long as I don't drip on the controller, I think we'll be fine. Uh, let me just wipe it. Okay. <laughs> ah, It's not that bad. It's just... Uh, uh, seems like a sinus cold. All right. Let's uh, go inside, right? I think we've seen a good portion of it. Crimson Wing, great job. Very nice job. This is one of the first buildings on the map. One of, uh, we did start with the six mansions and I asked my friends to come in. The best builders I knew, I asked them to come in. And Crimson was one of the better builders and he did a fantastic job on the exterior. Um, I don't want to insult anyone, but the interior is not his uh, forte. It's few people's fortes, I would say. But again, he did a fantastic job. He did most of this downstairs. We'll take a look at the kitchen. Very woodsy kitchen. But what do you expect from a, a family who likes to hunt? You know, they like the outdoors, so they probably want a kitchen that re reminds them of the woods. So very woodsy. You're not going to find anything to scavenge in any of these six mansions. The reason why the mansions are here is because they protected you for 30 days, but you have exhausted all of their supplies. So you have to leave, okay? So that's why there's nothing in these mansions except for the mini games, which I may or may not show you. I don't know. If you guys will remember the little thing, the prompt said that we have to collect ammo. Where on earth are we going to collect ammo from? I don't know. You may have to start uh, exploring this house somehow. So this is the upstairs, the little fire. This is meant to be a bearskin rug. I think it looks like one. We have to be told that it's a bear skin, but, you know. The uh, chandelier looks very nice. Very, very nice. We got the dragon eggs because I feel, I believe it was Shadow Overkill. Went into the end, killed the dragon, pushed the, the egg with the piston, and now we were able to have it in creative mode. 
This is the trophy room. This is where they come and sit and stare at their trophies. Uh, they don't have a TV like conventional people. They just like to sit and look at their <laughs> look at their um, their trophies. Okay. All right. Let's go across the way. Over here is a bedroom. Very nice. Very woodsy again. The woodsy theme goes all throughout this home. Very bright. We don't want any mobs spawning in these mansions. These mansions are supposed to be a safe haven for you. There's no fighting in the mansions. There should be no mobs in the mansions. Yeah. So this is the library, of course. It's got a little floating table here. <laughs> Never mind that. Coming downstairs. Let's go downstairs. To the basement. Dun, dun, dun. Where we will see the mini game. So coming down here. Let's see what we got here. We have a bar. Look at the bar. This is a, a cool little area where you can serve drinks and whatnot. We also have a little cage. A little terrarium, I guess you would call it. But there's no animals in there right now. There was a sheep in there. I don't know what happened to him. And then over here we have the aquarium. Nothing in there either until... <laughs> hey, buddy. I wish we had some more water mobs. I think that'd be really cool. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he didn't last too long. How about this one? Are you going to die too? Okay, this one's going to live. The last one was a quitter. He quit on us. Wait, what's he doing? All right, anyway, let's go. Uh, let's go this way. Yeah, it's a very uh, very confusing basement down here. It's a little maze-like. Then we have the, the archery range. Ooh. Very fancy. Look at this. I believe it was Solid who did it. No, it wasn't Solid. This was also Crimson Wing. Yeah, Crimson Wing did that. I'm, I get confused with who did what. And at last, the mini game. Do not enter shooting range without arrows. We have no arrows, guys. Ammunition can be found all around the estate. Hit the targets to win some amazing prizes. The more targets you hit, the more prizes you'll win. Oh, it's okay. The way this works, guys, is there are arrows hidden all throughout the mansion. And the more arrows you find, the more opportunities you're going to have to hit the targets. Back there, I don't want to go back there. It's, we'll save some surprises for you guys. But back there are some targets. And if you can hit the targets, you get prizes. The harder the target, the better the prize. So keep that in mind. Maybe I'll show you how to find one arrow. Just to show you that there are arrows around. Let's go look for an arrow. Do we... Oh, what's that? Huh. A random pressure plate. Ho ho! You see that, guys? Solid figured out a way to dispense one arrow. Isn't that awesome? Oh, it's so cool. Yes. And wait, there's more. So you say, okay, you press that plate once, you get an arrow. What stops me from just jumping up and down on the thing and getting 50 arrows? That's what prevents it. We also got a defense mechanism so that you cannot spam this thing. Uh, I can show you how it works on a different video. It's super simple. Solid came up with it. It is awesome. And I, we have used them so much in this map that I'll have to show them to you eventually. But yes, this is the weapons mansion. If you want to start the game with some weapons, you feel like you're a good shot with the bow, then this is the mansion and mini game for you. <laughs> yeah, thank you to Crimson Wing and Solid and everyone who's helped work on this mansion. It's one of my favorites. I really like it. Um, and it's, it's a fun mini game. It really tests your skills. So consider this mansion for starting the game. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for putting up with me. I know I sound like I'm talking like this. <laughs> it's not going to be fun to listen to this video. <laughs> well, it might be, but whatever. So thank you guys for watching. I'm a little delirious. I'm going to go take some medication and lay down. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. As always, happy Minecrafting. Peace.